first subject I looked at for my module 8 project was Newton's law of heating and cooling, which is a differential equation that shows that the rate at which an object heats or cools is proportional to the difference between that object's temperature and the temperature of its environment. So some important definitions to know for this subject are the initial value, which is just the starting value, and the constant of integration, as well as the constant of proportionality, or k, which we will find later. On the left, you can see the differential equation for Newton's law, which shows the rate at which temperature is increasing or decreasing, and we can use calculus to differentiate both sides and simplify to find the general form, which is on the right, which we will be using for the example. So a real-life application of Newton's law is in forensics. Forensic scientists can use Newton's law to determine how many hours have passed since a person or an animal has died. An example of this could be at the crime scene of a stabbing. So if a corpse was found to be 85 degrees at 5.08 a.m. and after two hours has cooled to 75 degrees with an environmental temperature of 72 degrees in the house, we can use Newton's law to determine at what time of the night the man was killed. So first we're going to start with y equals a times e to the kt plus b and just simplify for k right now by plugging in the values that are given on the left um, which are just the different times and temperatures of the corpse and then we can simplify this down to find k equals the natural log of 3 over 13 all divided by 2. So now we're going to plug this k value into t equals the temperature of the original times the temperature of the surrounding times e to the k that we just found times t. So then if we plug in all the values we know, the only variable left to solve for is t, which is time, which we can just simplify down right here to be about um, 59 minutes. Subtract that from 5.08 a.m. when the body was found, and we have 4.09 a.m. Probably the most likely career to use Newton's law would be a criminalistic forensic scientist, which is a specific type of forensic scientist that specializes in crime scenes. And these men and women present data to courts to be used in um, trials. And here you can see just some basic skills and education that are needed for people interested in pursuing this career. The second topic I chose was exponential growth and decay, and the important thing to know for this topic is that there are two general formulas we can use to model growth and decay and the rate at which both of these are occurring, which are seen in the blue, and we can use initial conditions and plug them in to find particular solutions for these equations. And one thing you'll notice in both of these equations is the constant k which is sort of similar to the constant of proportionality in Newton's law, um, but if this k is greater than zero, it signals growth, and if it's less than zero, it signals decay. One real-life application of growth and decay is in carbon dating, which relies on the principle that carbon-14 will decay into carbon-12 very slowly within an organism after that organism dies. So scientists use this principle to determine how long ago a fossil was alive. For my example, a fossil of a woolly mammoth originally had 40 grams of carbon-14. It now contains just 12 grams. In approximately what year did the mammoth die? So here's what we know. Um, the, we originally started with 40 grams of carbon-14 and are now at 12 grams, and that the half-life of carbon is 5,700 years. Just like with Newton's law, we're going to start by solving for k, and with the general form, n of t equals the n of original times e to the kt. So if we simplify down using what we know, we find that k equals the natural log of 1 half divided by 5,700. Next, we plug in our k value as well as 40 grams and 12 grams and the half-life of carbon at 5,700 years into our general formula. And this time we're simplifying for t, which is the time since the woolly mammoth was last alive. So we're just simplifying here. And we get t equals the natural log of 0.3 divided by our original k which gives us 9,901 years. So we subtract that from our current year of 2018, 
and we find that the woolly mammoth died in 7,883 BCE. What career would use carbon dating? So an archaeologist is someone who examines artifacts to learn about the past. Um, and these people will use half-lives to determine the ages of fossils, sort of like we just did with the woolly mammoth. And then they can put all this data together to make a running fossil record. And once again here, just the skills and the education needed for pursuing this career.